Welcome back everyone. I am here with another first reaction video for Tiger Milk by Bell and Sebastian. I'm doing this one back to back with my, my last reaction video I did um, of Pavement's Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain. I finished out their, their first two albums. Um, and I figured, nope, I have all the stuff set up. I'll just do another album. I'll do another 41 minute album, Tiger Milk, what's next? Yeah, so, um, for those of you who don't know, I've been doing some first reaction videos. Uh, I've done Unknown Pleasures and Closer, Closer by Joy Division. I've done Slanted and Enchanted and Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain by Pavement. And now I'm going on to the first two albums by Bell and Sebastian. We're starting with Tiger Milk. Um, I've heard one song by Bell and Sebastian, which is Stars, The Stars of Track and Field. I think it's the technical title. Love that song. Uh, and that's the only reason why I'm wanting to do the first two albums here. Uh, they both have, you know, good uh, good feedback on them. So I'm like, you know, okay, sure. Let's go, let's go some chamber pop, all right? I've been on a massive Magnetic Fields kick for the past several months. Finished 69 Love Songs, like, uh, a couple weeks ago. I want some more chamber pop, okay? Let's see what the big deal is about Bell and Sebastian. Let's see if this is good. Uh, pardon the boobs on the front, I hope. That doesn't get anything flagged. I don't think it would because the cover's probably all over YouTube anyway. No nipple. No nipple. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Um, 1996 is when this album came out, in June of 1996. Scottish pop band, Bell and Sebastian. Um, we have 10 tracks. Let's hop right in with the first track, The State I Am In. Brother had confessed that he was gay, yeah, he said that he loved me for a while. That's nice. Oh, yeah. I'm in my zone, guys. When I have Chamber Pop or Dream Pop, I'm in my zone. What a colorful song. Nice production. I like the harmony in the vocals. Not a lot to react to in this song because it's like just repeating the same stuff. New lyrics and new verses. It's very candid, like very raw, like first take kind of vocals. Okay, uh, nice little song, nice little song. Let's see what our expectations are for expectations. It's predicting the future. This, the song Expectations did not meet my expectations. This is off the wall. It's crazy chords. This song is all over the place. I like these choruses. You're on top of the world again. Good melody. Good melody. Yeah, that was, uh... Oh, man. Okay, she's losing it. The songs are autobiographical. Nice. I mean, it's not like super exciting, but uh, it's really pleasant. It's uh, it doesn't go down tough. Who needs boys when 
endlessly surround But in the first moment of waking up She knows she's losing it Oh yeah, she's losing it Oh yeah, she's losing it Oh yeah, she's losing it I like that one. That one's really nice. It's about a lesbian. You're just a baby. I don't know about the lyrics in this one. It's like just barely missing the mark for me. I will say one thing. I like unconventional pop music, and so far all of these songs have been just unconventional enough. Uh, so I haven't disliked anything. I haven't disliked anything. That one, uh, <clears throat> not, not quite though, not quite. Electronic Renaissance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, vocal melody isn't super catchy. It could be maybe a tiny bit better, like a tiny bit. Um, but man, this song is fire. Great. That was that was great. Really good. I like that one a lot. I could be dreaming. The song is a uh, a little underwhelming coming off of Electric Renaissance, Electronic Renaissance. Beautiful people. I'm just not clicking with this song. I don't know what it is. It's just not hooking me at all. It's a long one too. Almost six minutes. My goodness, I did not like that song. Um, <clears throat> not even to say it was bad. I, j I just did not enjoy it. I had no problems with it. Uh, I just wanted to be done with it as soon as possible. We rule the school. Ah. Lovely. This song is very pretty. Hmm. I love me a violin in a pop song. Almost canon in D. Always a surprise. I love these instrument choices. 
They come out of nowhere and they just hit so good. What does that mean? Are you not a man? I don't know. I don't get it. That was a nice song. I really like that one. We only have three songs left. This has gone by so fast. My wandering days are over. Boom, 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 boom. I'm tired of fixing things for Michael and the rest of them. Me too. Michael. Again, another instrument just hits perfectly. A couple of these songs are kind of long-winded. Like, really, the two songs over five minutes are like, they don't need to be over five minutes, in my opinion. This music is really relaxing, though. That one was okay. It was a little long, but it wasn't bad. Um, kind of like uh, I could be... Oh, not like I could be dreaming. I liked it more than I could be dreaming. Two songs left. I Don't Love Anyone. Also, the name of the song. This is 90s. Hey, dude. Chill. You love this chord progression. <laughs> it's a little repetitive. This chord progression is just, it's, it's not, it, it's gotta change. You didn't learn anything by the end of the song. That's so sad. Again, it's like it's okay, but it it was just too repetitive. I think um, nothing terrible to say about it, though. Last song, Mary Jo. Wow. Drinking tea on her own, she wants to know what you want. Who can blame her if she wants? And I do follow day and back again. She doesn't want to sleep well. Who can blame her if she sleeps? He moves very quickly through his verses and his lines. It's interesting. He'll just like kind of like trickle through everything he has to say very fluidly. It's, uh, Wildly different from Pavement, which I listened to last. Another pleasant song. I like this one. Hmm, callback. That, that guitar. That is Tiger Milk. Wow. I like this album. This album was nice. Um, it didn't like jump out at me, except for maybe um, Electronic Renaissance was great. We Rule the School, uh, I think had a lot of character to it as well. The State I'm In is fine. Expectations is fine. Mary Jo I liked. Um, there's a few that just didn't do it for me. Uh, she's losing it was okay. You're just a baby. I could be dreaming. My wandering days are over. And I don't love anyone. Those, those just didn't quite do it for me. But it's a nice album. It's a nice album. It's one that I could possibly put on and just like not skip any songs and be fine with it, I think. But it'd be like a background, you know, like I do a lot of dream pop background albums. Um, like Beach House, Wild Nothing, uh, Radio Department, 
those are like really good uh, background albums for me. Like I can't count the number of times I listened to Gemini and Nocturne by Wild Nothing just on repeat while playing like Dark Souls or something like that. Um, dream Pop is my thing. Not that this is Dream Pop, but uh, it's a good chamber pop. I like the uh, I like the instrument choices. That was really nice and it's really refreshing and very varied. Very varied. That's good. Uh, well, thank you everyone for watching. Um, next time I record, maybe I'll try to do another back-to-back -back so I can have more content to put out at once. Uh, we're going to go to If You're Feeling Sinister, which is the next Bill and Sebastian album. And after that, probably a Velvet Underground. Probably White Light, White Heat, or whatever it's called. Uh, I think that's what we'll do. So again, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, like, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, if you're a fan of this album... Um, if you've heard it before, what you think, if you haven't, and this is your first time watching, uh, give it a listen. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That is all. Bye.